welcome back. Hope you're all okay. Uh, so today we're doing hold on or move on. We're thinking about you and your person and whether you need to wait for the situation, if you want to wait for it and hold on, or whether you should be moving on. So as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. That's how me and my guides work. We nip into all your energies, we nip into all your people's energies, and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. So... This, we've got nice feminine decks today. My guide has chosen beautiful, shiny feminine ones. This is deck number one, and this is deck number two. So pick your deck. This deck used to be dead shiny, not battered. Now it's absolutely battered and bruised. This deck I haven't used for a while. Number one and number two. Okay, think about your person. Uh, you need to go from where your heart energy is pulling you. Any clairvoyance out there, go with if you can see a green colour coming from your heart, go to which deck it's picking you to. Um, and if you're not clairvoyant, just use your visualisation. Deck number one, deck number two. This one's going dead heavy. Okay, let's go. So, can you get me into my collective's energy of deck number one, please? Deck number one. I don't know, is that a song? Okay, I've just got... we got to take the power back. Uh, I don't know who sings that either. I'm sure that is a song. Is it? Is it Rage Against the Machine? Take the power back. Okay. So we're obviously in a state at the moment where we need to kind of be grabbing further control of how we're feeling and what's kind of going on and... Um, getting more into that strong energy rather than just letting the universe, uh, well, letting the universe navigate it for you, but you stepping back into your power. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into that person's collective energy? So it's basically about you standing in your, your strength and telling the universe what you want and then seeing what happens. So it's kind of a bit of holding on and moving on at the moment. Can you tell me, should the people watching hold on or move on? Should they hold on or move on? We gotta take the power back. Two. Hold on or move on for them and their person. Three. anyway hold on or move on I tried to get me dog on the camera but she she's really camera shy so I put her up and uh, she jumped off me lap as soon as I did it and I thought this is gonna be a nightmare if I try and show you her she's on the floor down here at the moment as soon as I start working and, and reading she steps into the spirit energy and she just collapses and goes to sleep apart from when the postman comes hold on or move on okay and the overall outcome get one more for the overall outcome okay so don't be a glutton for your own punishment i think that's how you say it isn't it at the moment you guys kind of uh i don't want to say wallowing because that's a really kind of negative word but you're feeling like you are in quite a low vibration you're feeling like everything's kind of getting on top of you your thoughts are running away from you you're getting one thought and you're spiraling it and spiraling it and spiraling it in um, a more kind of negative direction and it's causing a bit of confusion within you guys about what you should be doing and how you should be going about it and what is the right way and what will happen and yada 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 so the most probable outcome between you all is that there will be a reconciliation with you and your person or a reunion or a coming together that is the most probable outcome at the moment because your person does love you however um, to get to that point, you've got to go through, these are your, where your outcomes are at the moment, you've got to kind of be going through, at the moment you've got this period of heartache and unsure what to do, this uncertainty about do you move on or do you stay put. So to get to your person at the end goal, you've got basically, you're at point A, they're at, coming together at point C and you've got to go through point B and this is where point B is at the moment, it's between not making a choice and feeling heartbroken. Now you've got to remember that everything in life is not predetermined, people will say to you, 
um, oh well, you know, all twin flames are meant to be together, everyone's meant to be in union, they'll say to you, um, oh well, if it's, you know, it's meant to be, it's definitely going to be, etc, etc. Please remember that the reason why we are here on this beautiful planet we call Earth is because of our free will to navigate situations and to work through duality, okay, duality, light and dark, good and bad, right and wrong, yin and yang, all of that. And we have to kind of balance the scales of that with our energy. And that is why our free will is really important. So you can choose whatever pathway you want. You can choose whatever direction you want and it will make no odds in getting to point C. Okay, so if you're at point A at the moment where you're feeling like everything's a bit sad, you're a bit low, what do you do, blah, blah, blah. To get to point B, you've got to rejig your energy and think about you and what you want, which is why they're saying take the power back. Get into that strength, get into that passionate energy of where you want to go. And it doesn't just mean about dating. I mean, in all areas of your life, do you want a new hobby? Do you want to go dancing, go and see your friends? Get the energy moving back in your favour because if you do that and you get into that higher vibration and you trust in the universe to bring it back to you then that is what is going to be moving forward and that is what is going to be happening so at the moment there's a few people that are throwing judgments and opinions on you oh he's an a-hole oh or they are an a-hole sorry lads i always do that it's because i'm a woman um they hurt you you don't you deserve better yada 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 please don't take people's judgments and opinions into your own you can make your own choices in this life without anybody else kind of twiddling the thumbs and interfering you at the moment are stuck at point A and point A is feeling low and down and miserable and you're feeling a little bit grumpy and a cranky pants. What you've got to do is kind of get back on the life bus, I always call it a life bus, and go to your next destination. Try and move forward to point B. Now your person might be waiting at point B for you as a whole energy. would have to look at that individually in separate readings. Um, but your person might be waiting at point B, but even if they're not, go and explore point B for a little bit. Go let your hair down. The outcome of point C of your person and you coming back together will still be the same if you if you just wait for them. The problem is, if you put your life on hold and you wait for them, you're not giving the universe space to manoeuvre around you. Now, if you feel like going dating, go and do it. If you feel like you don't want to, then don't. You've got your own free will to choose what is right for you. Your person is gonna come back to you with heart-centered energy. That is your end goal. So for now, you're gonna to have to laugh through the tears and scream and hit your pillow a few times and, and you know, grieve this energy. Do a lot of healing meditations, heart-centered healing energy being sent to your heart at the moment will really, really help you. And you can ask that to echo onto your person as well so they have the benefits of it as well if you're feeling quite positive and you wanna help them a bit. If you don't, then just keep it on yourself. Rejigging your energy will be what brings this relationship back to the foreground that you guys can have a chance together but you're not quite there yet so this is what we're saying about people's opinions and judgments in the middle you you'll have the the masculine energy remember it's never gender specific or sexually orientated majority of you watching on divine feminines either side you have stability and you have passion so for this linking to happen for this relationship to move forward we've got to focus on what your passions are where you want to go in your life and getting you feeling more stable within your own skin anything to kind of build up your self-esteem um, you could get any kind of yellow crystals they will help with self-esteem as well and self-confidence um, if you wanted to help with the passionate side of things get some orange crystals solar plexus and sacral chakra those are both in uh, yeah both yeah, right, for passion and confidence. Confidence is your solar plexus. Sexual, passionate energy is your sacral. So getting into this strength will bring your person towards you with their love and their heart-centered energy, which creates this victory. Try not to put a timing on it. My guy's not going to give you a timing because there isn't a mutual timing on you and your person coming together. This is just whether you hold on or move on. And if you want to look at that, email me. We can do it in an individual reading. For now, you've got to have this period of rest and reflect on everything that happens. Remember that Neville Goddard said that everything that happens um, is a reflection of you. 
So your outside word is, world is a reflection of your inside world. Basically, whatever you put out, you are kind of uh, getting back. So if you're feeling really low and feeling that you're not good enough, the people that you attract into your life are going to make you feel low and make you feel like you are not good enough. If you're sending out that you're stable, you're ready for a relationship, that you've got your perfect person that you want, um, and while you wait, you know, you're going to go and date and wait for your, you, you know, your person is going to come back when they feel the time is right then bring that to you, you'll bring that to you. Manifest the person that you want, manifest the outcome that you desire. And if you wanna keep both options open, say say to the universe, if it isn't blah, please bring me someone that I will love uh, equally or more than, someone new that I will love equally or more than as if by magic and with total ease. Thank you, thank you, thank you, so be it, so it is. Bring it to you. For now, at this moment in time, we've got to kind of get you out of this heart, heart grieving in, and not sure what to do about the situation into a period of rest and reflection. Um, you're gonna be up and down a little bit the next couple of weeks, so maybe my guys just show me a piece of pen, a piece of pen, a piece of paper and a pen. I'm writing down all your fears and things like that. Might even be worth writing a letter to your person, not sending it, just to kind of get it out of your system. We advise that you wouldn't send it because they don't want any pressure on them at the moment um, but then your kind of victory again is assured so you've got victory and you've got celebration here some of you will be seeing them at social events I'm hearing there's also a link with family being brought into the equation some of you've had difficulties with the family which is why people are throwing judgments and opinions on you um, Focus, but the, again, take a step back from it and focus on what you want. Focus on getting your power back, as Spirit said at the start. start. Get into that strong energy. Get into that, I'm going to manifest the outcome that I want. I'm going to get to point C, but I've got to go through B. Now, what do I want to do at point B? Do I want to date? Do I want to play? Do I want to party? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? And your person is going to mirror that energy that you are putting out there as well. So if you are uh, suddenly, if you're still sitting there and you're grieving and you're waiting, your person is going to feel that energy that you are still close to them. Now, as soon as you take a step back and you're feeling busy and you're feeling occupied and your mind isn't manifesting all of this, your person is going to feel that you're pulling away from them. And it is in that part where they feel you pull away that they make moves towards you. So you've got a chance that you two will be coming together, but there's no point putting your life on hold, okay? Because it's going to be the same outcome, whether you move on or whether you hold on. It's just that if you hold on, you're going to be pausing the situation because you're not allowing anything new to come in. You're not creating anything, any space for anything new to come in. Um, you're listening to people's judgments and opinions, which is going to weigh your energy down. And the best thing to do is to kind of focus on you, push yourself forward, work out what you want, go in that direction and know that the outcome will still be the same regardless of what you want regardless of which direction it's going to go in take the power back put it on you trust the universe tell the universe what you want not what you don't want remember it takes 17 seconds for a thought to manifest that's how quick it is you can try it you know if you're walking down the street go universe show me something beautiful Think about it for 17 seconds and see how long it takes something beautiful to show up in your life and it'll sh that is how quick manifestation works that's how quick negative and positive thoughts spiral and that's why it's important to remember that everything that on your outside world is a reflection of your inside world because if you're feeling low and sad and you're bringing the wrong kind of people into your life it's because that energy that you are conceiving and perceiving that you are sending out is that lower frequency that lower vibration you know how to raise your vibration go and have fun go and enjoy yourself you know, get some crystals to help with the negativity and the, the sadness, etc, etc. Anything along those lines. But trust the universe. You can hold on to this situation, but kind of put it on the sideline. Put it on the sideline and go, right, okay. When it happens, when it comes, I will deal with it then. But for now, I'm going to focus on me. So it's the kind of the balance between the two, really. It's holding on and moving on. But just don't hold on to it so tightly, because if you do that, you're pressing pause on it. They love you, you've got victory and you've got a celebration over here. So it's gonna come round in the end, but it'll just be longer if you still hold on to the situation and take on people's judgments and opinions. For now, have a period of rest, have a period of working out what it is that you want in your life, what direction you want to go in. Don't be afraid of making changes that um, could affect you and your person, because if your person is not there at this moment in time, there is no effect on you and your person. They will have to deal with the consequences of it when they come back. So don't feel afraid to make choices that are right for you. 
Um, you are the most important person in your life. You are the person that has to go to sleep to you, next to yourself every single day and wake up with yourself. No one else has to do that. You've got to kind of put that power into your energy so you, you feel your strength and you feel your own intuition and guidance. Trust it, follow it, tell the universe what you want, let it come to you. You can't get from A to C without going through point B, guys, I'm afraid. So, a bit of both. Put them on the sideline. Focus on you. If you put them on the sideline, hold on to them in the, the background of your mind, but focus on moving forward and through that, you'll get the outcome with being the same regardless of whether you hold on or move on. If you hold on and stop and don't do anything, you're pressing pause. Okay, so that is deck number one. Okay, if you want to book a private reading, deck number one, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Website is mysticlovetarot.com. Uh, Instagram, Mystic Love Tarot. I'm going to go put the animal updates on there. Did I say that? I meant to say. We've had an update on Polly and Leo. We've had an update on our two little, two little animals, our polar bear and our snow leopard. So I will put them on Instagram for us today so that you can read the updates. They're really long, so I'm hoping there's going to be a way that I can merge it all in one thing. But I'll put them on Instagram, so go find me if you want to read about our uh, adoptive animals for the channel. Okay, let's do deck number two. Hold on or move on. Can you get me into the collective energy of deck number two, please? Okay, I've got Shine a, uh, shine a Light. Is that a... That's a British band, do is it? It's those young boys. Is it One Direction? Shine a light on her. <sighs> Whatever that song is. Okay, think about this person. Can you get me into deck two's person's energy? Go into the collective energy of that. Pull out the mutual energy between them all. It's been ages since I've used this deck. Someone from uh, one of your supporters, one of the subscribers, brought me this deck. Bless your little hearts. Okay. Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes. Two more, and then we're off. Shall I night on her? Okay, can you tell me, should the people watching deck number two hold on or move on? Hold on to their person or move on from their person? Can you advise us, please? So the first thing that Spirit are saying while I'm pulling the cards is that your person has got their own battles at this moment in time, um, which could be why they've withdrawn from the situation. Some of you are thinking that it is a pure reflection on you, um, but it isn't. There is a lot of stuff that has been happening in their lives. Some of it is money orientated. Some of you guys will be work orientated. Some of it will be family orientated, etc., etc. Uh, your person hasn't actually isn't actually gone that far away from you. Now it might feel that there is a distance between the two of you, but they haven't actually gone that far, which is good for you. That's going to be what you want to hear. Just get one more. That's two. One more. Okay. So your person hasn't actually wandered that far, and your person is still thinking about you, thinking about. Uh, what could have been, what currently is, and the best way back towards you. So you might feel that they're quite far away from you at the moment in time, but actually on an energy level, your person is still really, really close to you. They haven't moved on. If they've said to you, oh, I'm dating other people, or I'm seeing someone else, etc., etc., their heart is still yours. So even if their physical body and not their energy is moving on and trying to see other people, their heart is Again, your, their heart is still yours. It's that whole uh, spiritual experience and human experience. You're not a human having a spiritual experience. You're a spirit having a human experience. That is where the energy is at the moment. So your person hasn't actually released the situation. No matter what they've told you, they're still holding on to you. Um, with that, unfortunately, there comes the part that they are holding on to everything that has happened negatively as well. You know, kind of a bit like you are. You guys have licked your wounds a little bit, feeling a bit better about your situation, whereas your person um, is kind of going the opposite end of that. We've got the scales going on here. So whereas you're starting to feel better, your person's starting to feel more longing, more yearning, more sad, um, and you've got this re-tipping of the scales going on. Uh, your person has had a lot of fears, 
happening around them as you guys have as well you've been feeling trapped and uh, they've had a bit of self protect on as well so if recently or whatever whenever happened within your individual circumstances they got a little bit feisty or a little bit self defensive with you um, that was because at that point in time they were feeling really dragged down by it all, feeling really sad about it all, feeling quite burdened by it, feeling quite conflicted and unsure about what choices and decisions to make because they didn't want to upset you. Then they've made this choice and kind of gone, oh, well, you know what, I'm either going to ghost you or cut you off or whatever individual things have happened with you and your person. Um, or, if, you know, even if this is someone new that you're dating, it's still the same energy that they've had their spikes out and they've kind of hid like poked everyone away from them because they're on self-protect trying to protect their own energy the balancing of the scales is re-tipping um this conflicting energy that's happened between the two of them they're more stepping into a kind of nurturing energy now so the choice has been made the communication is going to be coming and flowing if you aren't in communication yet which is really really good whether to hold on or move on your person hasn't actually gone that far they haven't wandered as far as what you think they have it's just that with the conflict and with the energy, they've had their self-protect out, they've had their spikes out, but they are still looking to you with unconditional love. Your person is currently learning that lesson about unconditional love, and it doesn't matter what a person does or what a person says, and, you know, with no hope or agenda, it is just focusing on pure love, and that is what your person is currently realising at this moment in time. They're feeling sad. You're you're feeling a little bit better. They're feeling uh, like they're crying over spilt milk because they think they've made such a big cock up with the whole thing that they've lost you for good. Um, but you're also kind of thinking, well, you know what? If it happens now, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And because you're in that powerful, stronger, or about to be, if that doesn't resonate yet, that's where you're heading. Uh, that's your next step. Once uh, you're in that kind of energy, they start to feel sad, thinking, oh, well, there's no communication. Have I lost them? What have I done? Have I made a complete cock up over here? And through that, there's action back towards you with love, with movement, with action. I've already said that. Um, throwing, the, throwing the ones at you, going, come on, I'm coming to get you. We can have a new beginning together. I love you. I'm sorry I've been an absolute a-hole. And when that happens, you guys are going to have to kind of reflect on what you want about the situation. It's best to just go with the flow of it rather than focusing too far down the line. Think about where you are in the here and now. And that kind of stands with your hold on, move on, you know. Focus on where you are at this moment in time, not where you want to be. The Dalai Lama said, if you focus on the past, you have depression. If you focus on the future, you have anxiety. If you live in the moment, you can be at peace. And that is where you guys need to think. Uh, and be at this moment in time, be in the present. Now, if you feel like you have had enough of your person and you're sick of them and you want to date someone new, then go and move on, no problem. If you feel that um, this is your your life and your energy and this is the right person for you and they you're feeling better, you know that they are coming back, then it's worth holding on, okay? Uh, the movement of them is not quite yet. Actually, to be fair, some of you, it is in a couple of weeks. It's not quite as far as deck number one. Um, it's going to come towards you because of heartbreak and them knowing what they want. So they're going to come towards you with some kind of offer and say, you know what, I was a bit of an idiot. I was selfish. I was obnoxious. I was arrogant. I was whatever. Um, can we go for a coffee? That's your mutual energy. It might not be coffee, it might be go-karting or whatever, whatever you individuals do. Um, but there is a good chance here that this is going to be shifting back in the right direction for you, if that is what you want. As I said in deck number one, nothing in life is predetermined. You've got to make your own choices. And if you don't want this and you've had enough of your person, then you're quite at liberty to move forward with your own life. You know, nothing is setting you back other than you and your fears. Your person is in not a very positive place at the moment. They've had a lot going on in their energy. They're seeing you in this light, which is why we got that song, Shine a Light. They're seeing you in the light. They're seeing you as where their heart desires. There is still fear going on around them. There is still self-protect, but these scales are re-tipping, you know? And whereas you've been feeling really low, you're now feeling positive. They're starting to feel really low. And that energy means that the situation is going to start moving forward. There is still conflicting energy going on around them. And it's more to do with stability and security. And has too much happened? Is there too much pain? But they're going to override that because their emotions are too strong for you. So they will override those feelings that have happened. Um, 
while they're grieving, they're going to weigh it all up, weigh up their choices, and then there's movement back towards you. So there's, again, it looks like there's another chance. Uh, you can manifest this, manifest it moving forward. If you want a manifesting plan, give me a holler. Um, other than that, what you could say is, dear universe, what would it take to bring blah back to me as if my, my magic can be total ease? You can do it on the 555. If you haven't watched the manifesting video, it's linked in all the public descriptions. Go and have a watch. Uh, if you want a plan doing, give me a shout. They've got a really good success rate. Yeah, good chance. Your person hasn't actually gone that far on an energetic level. So on a physical level, it might feel that they are really far apart from you. But on an energetic level, it's like you could you, you still talk to them. There's still that energy. There's still that chain, that 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 pull towards them, that, that solar plexus pull. There's still a very strong connection between the two of you. So it's more of a kind of a not yet rather than a not ever. It's a not yet. It is going to be shifting and moving in the right direction for you. Um, Focus on, on you, you know, that's always the biggest bit of information we can give you really is where do you want to go, what do you want to do and then let it naturally unfill, manifest it, don't push it, don't go and push them and beg them to come and take you back, don't do anything like that if you've broken up. If this is someone new and you're like, Ali, none of that makes sense because I haven't even been on a date with them, then it's still the same energy that they are still working out in their head, they're working out if this is what they want, do they want a relationship, are they ready for one? And again, they will still come towards you with some kind of offer. So it's really good. It's a good good linking with deck number two. Really positive. Um, you know, try not to be too downbeat with it. Don't let your head get in the way. Follow your own intuition. Follow your own instinct. You're all quite tapped in, tuned in, turned on. So listen to your own guidance. Listen to your own inner, inner guidance. And it, it, won't, it won't serve you wrong. You know, focus on you. Focus on where you're going. Focus on what you want. And they are going to align with you. You're just kind of in this process of aligning at the moment. That's probably the best way to describe it. That you're on feeling better, they're feeling worse. And then through that, they'll, they'll come back towards you and your energies are going to align back. Like that. That's basically it. Uh, best way to describe it. Anything else? Yeah, we just got should I stay or should I go. You've got to choose what you think is right. Choose where you are and until your person is in your life and connecting with you and giving you that choice you don't actually have to do anything for a while um, just don't put your life on pause don't hold on to anything at the moment until your person commits to you you don't have to commit to them until they make an offering to you of commitment or equivalent not saying it has to be commitment and um, you don't have to make any choices so just go with the flow stay in the here and now push the, the situation pushing forward you guys are coming back into alignment it's moving in the right direction um, work out what you want work out what is going to be right for you let the universe take control listen to the clash should I stay or should I go you'll work it out it's all it's all positive um, hold on move on it looks like that even if you move on you know your person is still aligning into your energy so it makes no odds really whether you hold on or move on uh, if you hold on to it just make sure if you're choosing to stick it into your energy I just said this in deck number one and you're holding on and you're not giving any space for the universe to maneuver because you're feeling sad you will press pause on it if you release it try doing some release meditations remember letting go and moving on are two separate things you can let the go of this situation and still have it come back to you you know, and even if you move on, to be fair, if your person's aligning into your energy, it doesn't look like they're going that far anyway, because they haven't gone that far in the first place. And that's step number two. Okay, so if you want to book a private reading, email mrlovetarot at gmail.com. I will put the uh, animal Polly Leo, I'll put their updates on Instagram. I'm going to find a way how, so you can have a good read of what they've been up to. Uh, website's just Missed It Love Tarot. If you need me, just give me a shout. Have a really good weekend and a good week. Stay blessed, and I'll speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye.